Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And in this video, I want to cover something that is a bit controversial, but it can have some positive benefits. And that is using nicotine as a bodybuilding supplement. Now, I know some people are going to be listening to this and saying, what do you mean by that? I mean, how, isn't nicotine that, you know, that harmful cancer-causing agent that you find in cigarettes? And yes and no. <laughs> what I mean by that is, it is found in, in tobacco, so I mean you will get nicotine through uh, tobacco products and smoking cigarettes and all that. But nicotine by itself is not the harmful uh, substance in cigarettes. I mean, nicotine is only one of literally thousands of chemicals that get released through smoking tobacco. And when you take nicotine in its pure isolated form, it actually has several positive benefits both cognitive benefits, uh, uh, mental and mood elevating benefits, performance enhancing benefits, and this can be used uh, with a, a bodybuilding program, it can be used in just your day-to-day -day activities, you know, to make you more sharp with, with work and uh, physical tasks that you need to do. So it has some positive benefits and that's what we're going to cover in this video. Now how I became interested in this was uh, several months ago one of my followers actually asked my opinion on nicotine as uh, an appetite suppressant and as a pre-workout. And I was thinking to myself, what the heck? I mean, it, it, uh, that was totally foreign to me at the time. So uh, what I did is I just got on the Google machine and did my own research, started reading some studies on it, uh, watching various videos on the topic, reading blog posts and articles, and trying to collect as much information as I could to get a well-rounded, uh, I guess, overview of what it's all about. And the more research I did, the more positive benefits actually came to light. So it got to the point where I was curious enough to try it for myself. So I went to the store and I bought some nicotine chewing gum. And I think it comes in two and four milligram pieces. So I was the conservative type. I got the, the smallest dose, the two milligram pieces. And the way nicotine chewing gum works is when you chew it, you're only absorbing about 50% of the nicotine. So if you get a two milligram piece of gum, you're only actually absorbing about one milligram of that nicotine. And that is, you know, probably about half of what you would get in a single cigarette. You know, and the thing with a cigarette is you're getting all the nicotine and it's hitting you hard because where it's smoking, it's, it's getting absorbed in, into the body and into the bloodstream almost instantly. Whereas if you're chewing a piece of gum, it takes a while to get into your system. It takes about 20 minutes to a half hour to actually get into your system. So it's a much slower process. It doesn't give you that big hit uh, that you get from smoking a cigarette. And another thing is, uh, with the gum, I'm using way lower doses. I mean, I will literally chew maybe one piece of gum four or five days a week. <laughs> That's it. Uh, it's not something I do on a daily basis. And I haven't gotten hooked on it or anything like that. And in fact, studies have shown that uh, nicotine by itself, in terms of like a gum or a lozenge or a patch or something like that, doesn't have the addictive properties that it does when it's consumed through smoking tobacco. I mean, smoking tobacco has a lot of other things in there as well. Like I mentioned, there are literally thousands of chemicals released in tobacco smoke, and nicotine is just one of those. Now, nicotine works kind of similar to caffeine in terms of a performance enhancement. I mean, if you consume caffeine or you drink coffee or pre-workouts or energy drinks or anything that contains caffeine, uh, you tend to feel a, a rush of energy. You get more of a, a physical energy. You get a mental sharpness and focus. And it just helps to uh, allow you to concentrate on what you're doing. I mean, that's the benefits of caffeine. Nicotine kind of works similar to that in that it does increase cognitive focus and it does give you uh, some uh, mental uh, alertness and it also helps to improve reaction time. So, I mean, it has those performance enhancing benefits, but it doesn't have some of the drawbacks that I found through caffeine. I mean, a lot of people these days are consuming way too much caffeine. I mean, you get caffeine through coffee, through soda, through energy drinks, uh, through pre-workout supplements. I mean, there are people out there who are literally consuming a thousand plus milligrams of caffeine daily, and that is just overkill. I mean, you're burning out your adrenal glands, stressing out your system, and, and you actually become numb to the effects of caffeine when you consume it in such a high amounts on a regular basis. So what I've found personally is by using nicotine and using it in moderation and, of course, using it smartly, 
I've been able to reduce my consumption of caffeine and thus uh, reduce some of the side effects associated with caffeine, especially caffeine later in the day. I mean, if you consume caffeine in the evening, that can have a negative impact on your sleep cycle. I mean, you probably feel wired and jittery and, and you just can't fall asleep when you have caffeine in your system. Uh, nicotine gives you the the mood elevating and the, the mental focus and the sharpness that caffeine does, but it doesn't give you the same wired feeling. It doesn't give you the same caffeine jitters. And I found that uh, what I like to do is I'll consume caffeine earlier in the day, like right now, I'm actually having some caffeine, a cup of coffee, and this is early in the day. And then if I need a mental pick-me-up or, or an energy boost later in the day, then I'll chew a piece of nicotine gum. And I find that it gives me the focus and the sharpness and, again, the alertness that I need without the jitters or without disrupting my sleep cycle. And I find that the nicotine is actually in and out of your system faster than caffeine. I mean, caffeine has a half-life somewhere around six hours. So if you consume it within six hours before bed, that can negatively disrupt your sleep cycle. Whereas nicotine, uh, I've used it literally within you know an hour or two before bed and not have any issues with falling asleep afterwards. So I find it good if I'm doing some late night work on the computer, writing an article or, or something like that. I find it just gives me that bit of a uh, mental pick-me-up. And even if I'm doing a late night workout, sometimes I'll chew a piece uh, you know, on my way to the gym and I find that it gives me the focus that I need to get through a workout without having to rely on a pre-workout energy drink or, again, consuming caffeine uh, later in the day, which can uh, negatively affect your sleep cycle. So those are some of the benefits that I've experienced personally from this. And I'm just going to go over some studies now that cover some of the positive benefits that nicotine has. Now, there have been several studies done on the positive effects of nicotine in terms of performance enhancement, and motor skill enhancement. And this study in particular shows the effects of nicotine chewing gum on a real-life motor task, a kinematic analysis of handwriting movements in smokers and non-smokers. And the results were uh, analysis of writing movements revealed that nicotine could produce absolute improvements in handwriting following nicotine administration, reduced movement times, increased velocity, and more fluent handwriting movements were observed. So I'm just thinking if somebody needs to be quick with handwriting, thinking like a student taking notes or something like that, this could be a real-world performance enhancement. Another study we have here, and this is the effects of nicotine on finger tapping in non-smokers. And this study was done back in 86. So again, this is nothing new. This stuff has been around for quite a while. I mean, even though this is a simple test, it shows that nicotine has a positive impact. And in fact, the results show that uh, nicotine can substantially improve performance in non-smokers on a simple motor task. So another study here. This one is nicotine's effect on alertness and spatial attention in non-smokers. And this one was done using a nicotine patch. And this study shows that nicotine significantly improved both EEG and self-rated measures of alertness. And they conclude that nicotine increases alertness in non-smokers. And here we have a study done in 1996 on the cognitive performance effects of subcutaneous nicotine in smokers and never smokers. And the results of this study... Again, I'll have links to all this down in the video description below if you want to check it out for yourself. But uh, in conclusion, the present study has added to recent evidence suggesting that nicotine can produce modest enhancements in certain aspects of cognitive performance in never smokers as well as in smokers. And this next study right here, done back in 2004, shows the appetite suppressing effects of nicotine. And in this study, it showed that the feelings of hunger and food consumption were negatively associated with increasing doses of nicotine, whereas feelings of fullness were positively associated with increasing doses of nicotine. And it also shows that caffeine appeared to amplify the effects of nicotine on hunger and fullness. And in conclusion, it said caffeine added to nicotine chewing gum appears to amplify its effects on appetite and the combination of one milligram of nicotine with caffeine seemed to be well tolerated. 
Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone rush out and start using nicotine. I mean, that's not the purpose of this video. Uh, my goal here is just to make you aware of the positive benefits that nicotine has and to let you know that it is an alternative to other forms of stimulants. So if you're currently using caffeine, uh, taking energy drinks or drinking pre-workout energy boosters and things like that, and you find that you're consuming too much caffeine, then you can use nicotine as an alternative and actually scale back on your caffeine consumption. And that's what I've done personally. So right now I'll only have some coffee or caffeine early in the day and then if I need a bit of a mental and physical pick-me-up later in the day that's when I will use uh, nicotine and I'll have like a piece of nicotine gum and I found that it helps give me that mental sharpness and focus and that little bit of an energy boost that I need plus it helps to curb the appetite which is a nice little side benefit but it doesn't give me the jitters. It doesn't hinder with my sleep patterns like uh, too much caffeine can. I mean, if you drink coffee and, or consume caffeine later in the day, uh, that can mess up with your sleep. I mean, you might feel wired and, and just lying in bed, you know, wide awake and find it hard to get to sleep. I don't get the same uh, side effects from nicotine. It's in and out of your system faster. And again, it doesn't hinder your sleep to the same degree that caffeine consumption can. Now, if you are interested in trying nicotine as a physical and performance enhancement, then I recommend that you do your own homework. I mean, don't just take my word for it. Do your own research and come to your own conclusions. And to help you with this, I'll have links to all the studies that I mentioned down in the video description below, so you can check those out for yourself. And I encourage you to check out other videos and read articles and blog posts about the topic. And again, make your own decision on whether this is right for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback about this, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below, and I will chat with you down there. And have yourself a fantastic day, and I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Take care. Over and out. And just one more thing before you go. I have a special gift for you. It's a free 51-page report called The Three Keys to Building Muscle. This report is an easy read, and it covers the fundamentals to getting in shape training, nutrition, and mindset. The training section will show you how to combine strength training workouts and cardio conditioning together for building lean muscle while burning body fat at the same time. The nutrition section will show you how to figure out the exact number of calories that you need for your body type and the proper ratio of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. It even outlines a sample daily meal plan that you can follow along with. And finally, the section on mindset will help set you up for success by taking a practical and realistic approach to goal setting and following through with your fitness program. To download your copy, just click on the link in the video description below or visit my website at leehayward.com.